Hey there, YouTube. Um, this is the newest army of mine. It's just a couple squads and a tank and a couple other things right now. But um, I'm going to go in and I'm going to show you what I've done. The reason it's taking me longer is because it's completely converted army, all pretty much scratch built from random bits and pieces and things like that. So I'm going to go one by one, tell you what each guy is, and uh, just a little bit. All the bases on these are pretty much cast, except for a few out of resin. That's because I didn't have any extra bases. I actually had to go out and cast some. So, uh, yeah. Like that. So they're very thicknesses to make the guys taller and shorter, which is kind of nice also. This guy is the sergeant, the leader of the first platoon. Uh, these are guardsmen. Now, I wanted to make them, these are essentially the guys who are on the large battleships there. Uh, I call them the Imperial, uh, Imperialis Aquilis, I believe it's called, the, the eagle sign. As we learned it in Latin, but I can't remember how to say it exactly, so I'll have to look that up. But they're the Imperial Eagles, and uh, basically they're the guys who... Um, protect the battleships from being boarded and things like that so this guy just has a plasma pistol and that's a space marine arm to make him look bulkier and then an orc arm from Gorka Morka with a little short battle or combat sword then the body is a uh, body from the Valkyrie kit at Gen Con I bought uh, about 50 or 60 of these Valkyrie kit bodies for the guys who stand up but I've been using them um, and they look a lot like the Death Corps of Creed guys and that's one of the reasons I'm using them so this guy's just got a last gun on his backpack and then some stuff right there but other than that nothing too special about him it's painted with regal blue golden yellow um, catchkin green skin colors golds and bulk gun metal just and then the base is dry brushed fortress gray and white over it to make it look like bricks or something. Next, these are just got a lot of the heads also. Um, regular guy, pretty much just got a las gun with a bayonet fixed on it. Other than that, I did a hole like he's been shot there. Turned out to be bigger than I expected it, but I'll fix that later. Then, right here, we've got. Imagine this guy is like the munitions expert. He's got all the stuff. I'm going to add some more backpacks and things to him. The last gun, he's. This is the head from the Sentinel kit with the cigar in it, cigarette, and the glasses. So I thought he looked kind of cool. Last gun, things like that. Just another standard guy, green eye, regular, pretty much everything else. This guy has thought I looked like the Death Corps of Krieg way too much. Was it's the head of the kit from the what should we call it? The Valkyrie works really well. Sorry if there's background noise. We're trying to put the dogs away. We have company. He's holding his gun down there, staring. It's probably not the best thing for a guardsman to do. Um, over here is just another guy. Imagine he was, he's looking down at his gun like it's not working and about to get killed or something. And then we've got the Cadian helmet down there. And then... Right here we have this guy's imagine is like controlling the he's got keys to all kinds of stuff. He's got a last pistol and then this is the arm the left arm of the sentinel kit. And I painted it up like it was an Auspex or something like that. Turned out nice. Last pistol and then just a thing on the back with some grenades and the last gun on the back. This is something interesting. This is my answer to a special or heavy weapon, special weapons, I believe they're called. The Meltagun. 
And I also imagine this guy right here controlling this thing. Kind of like a drone, or it could be a turret. It's got a melt gun and then a sentinel saw. So they could, inside, if they were stuck in, they could get rid of... Or they could burn through the doors and stuff like that. Um, then we make it to the masterpiece of this army, the thing I worked on the most. Um, oh my gosh. Sorry, my dad is extremely loud and I don't want to talk to him right now. Um, but, uh, so, this is just the navigator for the ship. I imagine he has a lot of psychic energy, things like that. He also commands the forces. So I did this thing out of green stuff. Looks a lot like the armor cast ones. Psychic energy just pouring out of his finger. He's based on Chaos Space Marine biker legs. Then you've got your, uh, Cadian body, Space Marine arms. Make them look bigger than the rest. Space Marine, um... Scout Biker Head, the new plastic ones, uh, Salt Marine Kit, uh, Power Fist, I don't know where the bolt pistol's from, green stuff, some sort of, like, cape or something on his back, it's blowing or something into his legs, standing on an orc head, blood coming out of the mouth, blood everywhere on the base, bullets on the base, it's a dreadnought base, and the orc I'm not finished with, I have to make his spine and every his hands on the thing but that's pretty much that right now so you get an idea of what I have completely painted right now um, let me show you some of the other figures I've been working on this is my answer to a heavy weapons team this is the heavy bolter um, from I believe it's a predator kit right there and there's a guy down bent with a plasma pistol like he's running and the other guy was killed who operates it so he's just pulling the trigger and unleashing a lot of bullets. So uh, hopefully that'll look a little better when it's painted. Not a big fan of it, but it works. I imagine they're not going to have these guys laying down in close quarters, so that's what I came up with. This is just a spare Cadian guy I had, or bits, and then I made him like this. He's jumping on some sort of thing and jumping off. He looks pretty cool, I think. Screaming, he's got glasses. Uh, this is something cool. He's a regular guy like those, but he's got a little pole made out of a Lego, uh, it's neon green, like antenna looking thing with a ball on top. Cut the ball off and then just glued it on. I'm going to make it look like an antenna of some sort. Hold on a second. I've got to be quiet. Okay. Here's the flamer and um, regular flamer nothing too special about him gonna paint him up and do some stuff on the base to cover up that slot have a good time on your own will okay and, uh, be nice to I'm in the middle of filming something just uh, 